Hello there, and welcome to my social pathology video, by which you understand on the line the mechanics of social problems, and also by which you can reconfirm your life directions with solid confidence. This time, I would like to discuss this article I frequently see on the website about a man who became financially independent at the age of 36 and the happiness he is talking about. Hello, my name is Dr. Samurai, a professor specialized in international social pathology and also an active prison counselor of 20 years experience. First I will give you brief information and then let's get into our main discussions. Okay, are you ready? Let's start. So this man who is originally from Toronto, Canada. He uh, saved up about uh, eight hundred thousand dollars, eight hundred grand from his uh, full-time job, and he quit that full-time job now and uh, living taking care of uh, some real estate he owns and also uh, investing his money in a stock market but uh, he does not have to work regularly and this uh, real estate business he is familiar with because his dad was uh, in a real estate business. And also he has this uh, beautiful girlfriend uh, he says she is a PhD student and uh, she uh, lived off of uh, Twenty-seven thousand dollars a year, and the rest of the, all the money he she earns as income, she saved it. So I think they put the, all monies together, and now, like I said, uh, living off of uh, this uh, as a uh, real estate owner and also uh, stock market investors and uh, uh, they have this uh, one uh, very smart looking dog and they can go anywhere they want to go when they want to and uh, he says, listen to this, the key to happiness is owning your own time. Key to happiness is owning your own time. General information stopped right here. From this gentleman and lady and their dog. What can we learn? There are two, actually three things. You know, although you say saving money, it is not that difficult, right? Living in today's society, rent is so high everything is so high 
I hear uh, in the Bay Area, you know, close to San Francisco, annual income of uh, 150000 a year doesn't even put the person belong to a middle class in that area. 150 grand and still not a middle class you know and uh, rent is so high so now people I hear are living away from San Francisco and commute hours where they can only uh, pay a rent to their housings you know this is totally this is a uh, complete opposite to uh, what this gentleman and lady uh, established and how do you uh, how they saved up their money is that uh, And he says the key to save money is you do it yourself as much as you can. He put it like convenience is one of the biggest budget killer. You know, Call in a shop and restaurant for delivery. That's very convenient and quick too. But that cost. But uh, if you grow your own foods and do uh, everything, every process by direct care of yourself, by yourself everything is like free right those people who work for agriculture they don't spend that much money for their foods you know what i'm talking about right so he said he did everything almost everything based on his hands-on approach. He fixed, uh, say, uh, used the refrigerator and sold it for $100 and stuff. And even now, he fixes everything and paints the wall of his uh, uh, real estates by himself. You know, all those uh, things he does by himself and that is why he could save eight hundred thousand dollars you know but uh, you know this uh, doing things hands-on by yourself is one uh, value but uh, there are more important values we should learn from this person. One thing is, uh, as exactly as he is saying, happiness is owning your own time. You uh, not the slave to your work anymore you can do anything you want when you feel like it putting it in my own terms You 
do not compare yourself with others anymore, knowing that you can make a living that way without risks. You know, no comparison and no competitions with others that will bring inner peace to your heart you know every day you don't have to think about uh, doing things against yourself you know you can live I have this uh, my personal experience I had to uh, go to uh, some place far like uh, three hours drive or so and uh, I uh, rented a car and I got on I got on the freeway and in Japan we have to pay you know every uh, certain uh, distance there's this uh, you know uh, Toll station. Toll gate. And you have to pay for using the freeway. On that very day, I ran a very small car because, uh, you know, it's only myself who was in the car. But uh, in the next lane, there was this uh, brand new Rolls Royce. This is a true story, okay? And we get the uh, kind of ticket and drive in the same direction on the freeway, right? When I stopped at the next toll gate, the roads also stop and uh, paying that uh, fee anyway. Is it, is there much difference between uh, me and that uh, person who was driving the uh, roads? I don't think so. Nowadays, you know, uh, Regular, normal, uh, uh, regular, average levels car has great interior compared with the, uh, you know, several years ago, you know, several, several decades ago. Today's car is like a highly luxurious car, right? So, but uh, he must be feeling like he's a king of the freeway driving a brand new uh, Rolls Royce and stuff but that only comes from his competitive minds competitive minds means relative values Relative, relative means, you know, you put yourself in comparison with the others. Based upon who you compare yourself to, your position changes, right? But uh, when you die, all those uh, relative values are gone. Did I tell you that uh, this uh, one big owner of a huge, uh, you know, uh, companies that even own, uh, you know, uh, railways and bus lines and uh, department store franchise and malls and everything, 
when he dies. What he said was,、uh, what he said to his doctor was,、uh, hey doc, I will pay any amount of money you're telling me, so please let me live. But he died anyway. Right? Is, do you think、uh, he was、uh, satisfied with his life? I mean, more satisfied with his life than these two couples? I don't think so. Having so much things, so many things. On this side, in this world, he probably was highly insecure of leaving all those things he established behind. You know, happiness. Never comes from competitions and comparisons. It only comes from self containment. The stability, self security. No comparisons, no competitions. I think that is what.、Uh, This gentleman tried to convey the key to happiness is owning your own time, not to be ordered by anybody, not to do anything against his will. But、uh, there's another thing, another value that we could learn from this gentleman. By the way, if you like this kind of discussions, Please click that the yellow and green、uh, good luck charm logo. And also, I、uh, uploaded my best video playlist in which you, you must find something you are interested in. Anyway, the last value we can learn from this、uh, self independent young gentleman is. He uploads、uh, their photos, two of them. In both of them, you know, he is with his loving dog, you know, who looks so smart. You know, some of those dogs who can catch you know, frisbee by jumping so high and, you know, fetch it and back to the You know, go back to you and stuff. I don't know him and I don't know his dog directly, but、uh, this dog must be it. But anyway, and those two pictures were taken when he was in the nature, right next to the beautiful rivers, river, and、uh, Also,、uh, with uh, his uh, loving girlfriend, and that smart dog is always occupying one space in a photo. But、uh, both of them are taken in the nature. This is very important. Have you ever felt this way? That,、uh, When you worked all day within a modern you know, business building and you finished your work late at night and coming out of the entrance, and once you are out and breathe in the outside fresh air, you feel like、uh, you were. Revived. I think、uh, most of、uh, you 
wherever wherever you are must understand what I'm talking about. We, as I am saying, I have been saying, I don't deny any uh, religions and philosophies or creeds, but we must know we are products of nature. Nobody can deny that. Before you talk about God, that's the nature. You know? So, and happiness comes only when we unify with the, what we belong to. In other words, only when we integrate with the nature and this planet Earth and all the other animal beings and all the other people. When we accept all those things, we can only become happy. No other way, because this uh, compartmentalized situation, like this, uh, you know, uh, deeply split uh, political situation in the United States, that ain't gonna bring any peace to nobody. What I'm talking about is not my own feelings or philosophy. It is pure physics. You know, integration is always more stable and peaceful and strong than compartmentalized state. This is the truth. So, now, you know, uh, racial splits that is happening in the United States and the public against the police and the Democrats against the uh, Republicans, all of those, uh, you know, uh, opposing situations will never bring happiness. You must know this. And our happiness only comes when we get closer to this natural organic planet Earth, whose very representative is animals. When you become you, when you come to be able to love animals, that is not your pet, but uh, general animals like uh, elephants or, or whales or, you know, eagles, whom we may never touch or see close, but we still have love towards those things, that means your love is unconditional, which is the only thing that will bring you to the true peace, peace on this planet Earth, which is organic and natural. So, without saying it, as a sign of their happiness, they put up those two pictures. They or enjoying nature with their dog means they are on the right track and their end will be much happier one than that the gentleman who said to the doctor I'll pay so let me live you understand it all comes from our inside, security, 
and understanding of who we really are. Once you reach that stage, death comes natural to you. Anyway, this is all for today. I hope you、uh, get something new that you did not know. And if you like this kind of discussions, please click. Read Dr. s u m e l Lagos and、uh, up until next time. Wherever you are on this planet Earth, please take each moment of each day as a special moment. My Earthian friends. Okay, bye bye now.